Back, it's now 530 tonight marks one month since that massive fire sent a huge plume of smoke over the city of Richmond. There have been a lot of concerns brought to light since then because of the toxic chemicals released in the air for days following the fire at the plastics recycling plant. And next week, the city plans to take their next steps in the cleanup process. So tonight, our John Duran caught up with people in Richmond reflecting on a chaotic month. There's still a faint smell of burnt plastic just across the street from the old My Way Trading Warehouse, which on April 11th erupted into flames, burning plastic and sending toxic smoke up into the air. The city of Richmond says there's still a lot of work to be done and residents and business owners nearby agreed, but they're adjusting back to normal life after a chaotic month. Tuesday, April 11th is a day Jenny Tinkle won't forget. We had a customer walk in um, and I was helping him at the counter and he'd been there for just a couple of minutes and finally he said, did you know the building down the street is on fire? Her business just across the street from a blazing warehouse. We knew that it was gonna be a big one when we saw that. What came in the days and weeks afterwards, Tinkle can only describe one way. It was a little bit chaotic. Um, our parking lot was full of emergency uh, responders. Less than a mile away, Sandy Carpenter tells me she remembers April 11th starting out pleasant. I was sitting outside working as a pretty day and I heard the neighbors say, oh my God. She's lived in this home for more than 40 years. Smoke you just billows and billows and billows. Carpenter says she had no choice but to sit put within the evacuation zone. I stay in my house. One thing that's stuck with residents is a new appreciation for first responders. I don't know how they did it, but they they were able to keep a lot of homes and businesses, you know, free from the fires. And part of a statement sent to us, Richmond Mayor Dave Snow commended the hard work of first responders who put this blaze out after several days and also highlighted the resiliency of this community as they continue to work past this devastating fire. In Richmond, John Duran, 13 News. Now the